Rosa developed her project in prayer and succeeded in involving other friends in her plan for Siabaji and Girolama Kulusili. With the complicity of Father Ignacio Martinelli, on the 30th of August 1685, the three young women of Viterbo, braving the public opinion and suspicion of the believers of the city, left their own homes and withdrew to live together and open a school for the daughters of the common people. Rosa wrote in her spiritual journal, It did not seem true how happy all three of us were in beginning the work of the Lord. The first school was poor, like the daughters of the common people who frequented it, and Rosa, a woman ahead of her times, organized a full school day. The girls arrived in the morning and prayer opened the day. Study of the catechism supported all the other activities which consisted of sewing, lace making, knitting and for the more capable learning to read and write.